welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. My name is Jamie, I'm your host. Our angel here at Hipster Curtis is right here, and we have our happy Honduran Eddie. Now, today, Curtis, we're playing my favorite game. I've been searching high and low for something to trip, trip you up. I've been uh, secretly looking behind the counters, and I don't see it. And I was at... Uh, Barzini? What's that place called? Oh, yeah, Barzini. Barzini's in, in, in uh, Coralville. Coralville. Coralville, Iowa. And uh, the guy that works the place a lot. I've stepped in there two or three times. He's a very nice young guy and uh, he follows the show. He subscribes. Okay. One thing I said is, I said, I will buy this bottle if you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. And he goes, I think I already do. And I didn't call him out on it. I didn't see, take his word for it. He's a very nice guy. Very helpful. And this was, he recommended it. He says he loves it. It's one of his favorites. And that, we've never done it, and it might be one of the first ones of this type that we've done on the show. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So with that, Eddie... Now, wait a second. You told me it wasn't from the U.S. Right. It wasn't from England or nope. Britain. Nope. It wasn't from India. Nope. It wasn't from Canada. Nope. We're running out of places. No, we're not. Japan? Nope. Was it from Japan? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll see where it's from. We're going to see where it's from. Let me unwrap it. Really nice. Oh, oh, oh. Bam. 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 Interesting. King oh. Car Whiskey. I Inter believe it's from Taiwan. Is that correct? I think so. I think yeah. so. Okay. Let's see the front here. I haven't even seen this. They had it down. Ooh. Nice uh, color. Look nice. at that. Nice. Look at that. Pretty label. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, from Yilan. Taiwan, it says. Yilan, Taiwan, and King Cars Kavalan Distillery. So I don't know if they... Uh, so it says here, distilled, matured, and bottled by King Car Kavalan. So everything's done in-house. We'll take their word for it. Uh, the color is vivid amber that is passionate as ever. We like the color. Uh, the nose, excellent, clean, and freshly fruity. A touch of papaya, banana, and green apple, just to name a few. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pleasantly floral, delicate and complex in depths and multi-layer of aromas. Fragrances and nuances waiting to be discovered by each individual and connoisseur. Taste, sweet, rich vanilla, banana, but also coconut and a slight pleasant bitterness balancing the sweetness. A mouthful dram more complex and sophisticated than you ever imagined. A grand masterpiece to represent and bear the name of the group King Car. Whoa. Let's see. Ooh. Very nice. This notes. smells like the Dalwani we had earlier. Yeah. It's very cotton, uh, not cotton candy, but um, candy apple type. Mm -hmm. The banana. Dude, I think I can smell the banana. Coconutty at the end, kind of like a coconut flake. Try it. I taste the coconut. And you can tell that uh, it's from that area. I mean, like there is, yep, yeah, vanilla, um, coconut. I taste a little bit. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit of spiciness yeah. there too. Yeah. It hit me so hard. <laughs> Not in a bad way. No. Uh, this has got what I call twang, which is that when it makes your mouth almost pucker because it's so strong, kind of like what rye does. But the spiciness and the fruitiness, it's got a little bit of the bitterness they talk about, but it's well balanced and this is fantastic. Um, it's the alcohol in the, oh, it's the lingers on the palate number. 46 yeah. way too. And I, yeah. did you guys get the banana in there and the coconut? I, I did. When I it, taste that's that. fantastic, dude. That's different. What do you get? I haven't tasted it. Oh, you're just enjoying the smell, so, huh? Oh, the nose is wonderful. Yeah. The nose is really wonderful. It, 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 it doesn't smell like a cognac, but it has that same sort of filling your sinuses with just all this joy. Yeah, and you know what? This is very smooth. I don't know how long they aged it for. Uh, it doesn't really say. It doesn't say at all, but man, it has to be a little bit because there's nothing green about this. Still matured and bottled. Um, nope, there's nope, an address. Doesn't say anything. There's an address, and that's about it. Well, I think this is the... Wow. But anyway, it's a beautiful color. It's like that dark, kind of a dark honey looking. You want to give us like a price point on something like this? Uh, one thirty. Oh my gosh! Sounds about right. 
That's really nice. I did not expect this to be so nice. But you know, um, I like the nose better than the taste. I, I mean, the taste is really good. I'm not, I'm not slamming the whiskey, right. but the nose is spectacular. <laughs> Well, you can tell that it comes from a, a, a tropical, a tropical. Yeah, it definitely has that type of stuff to it. it, it would, I've never been there, but I assume that's what it would be. What it would seem like it kind of has that taste and smell of what I would envision going to Taiwan would be like. Yeah, the initial taste is not what I would expect from the nose. Yeah. It, it, it it doesn't really begin to develop until after you swallow. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the, the final taste is really nice. It's smooth. It's it's expressive. There's a lot of wonderful stuff going on there. A lot of flavors that, you know, I don't normally associate with whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, really good. I like it. It's, it's, it's a nice change. It's different than anything we've had on the show before. Yeah, yeah. it is. You know, usually, you know, I've read a lot of descriptions, or maybe it's because of the, we're getting better at this, uh, but I think the description's dead on. Yeah, you. I think you made a nice choice. Well, I had to surprise you. I spent a lot of money just to make you Yeah, uh, this is one that I've never had. <laughs> oh, yeah. You spent a lot of money. <laughs> So, uh, I, I just, I like the taste. I like, I do get the hints of the tropical flavors that we're getting. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that I made you, uh, happy with it. If we don't have, uh... Anything else to add to this? I want to remind everybody to like, subscribe, and share this around with your friends to help build up our audience. Eddie, where would they find the subscribe button? Right here. You'll find it there. Click on that and be updated on our Facebook page with all of our uh, things that are coming up. We have some interesting things coming. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. With that, Bird. All for one. One for all.